I get the idea, Jared. <laughs> I get the idea. It would be nice if you had another number. Do you have another number? Yes, I do. Would you do it for us? If you would like me to, sure. Thank you, my darling. I would love you to. Hit it! Shark babe has such teeth yeah, and it shows them curly whites. Just a jackknife has all my teeth, babe, and it keeps it uh, out of sight. I can know when that shark bites oh, with his teeth, babe, scarlet below. But fancy gloves don't wear so my keys, babe. So there's never, oh no, I never a trace of it all. Oh, do it easy. Down the sidewalk, a hop, a boot, Sunday morning, a hop. Lies about it, just who's the life. Carol Burnett with an important message from our friends at MasterCard International. If you had muscular dystrophy for just one day, you'd give for the rest of your life. So please call 1-800-FIGHT-MD and a MasterCard volunteer will charge your contribution. Help us make a miracle. If our toll-free number, 1-800-FIGHT-MD, for charging your contribution to MasterCard Visa or American Express is busy, please keep calling. Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. Before we cut away to all our love network, let's Tim take a timpani, look at that. Timpani, co- timpani, that timpani, timpani, do it. Hold it. Let me see 17. Yeah. Ha-ha. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Ed, let's billboard. Get ready, Louie. We're going to billboard. Stay with us, because coming back in the next hour with Jerry will be Jack Lemon, Joe Williams, Cole and Company, and Roger Whitaker. So if you miss a little, you'll miss.
There's a lot. You're a bitter little person, aren't you? Some things only get better as time goes by. How's life in the fast lane, Norman? Beats me. I can't find the on ramp. Two, five times a week. We're talking monster less. <laughs> Play it again, Sally. Regency today, taking your pledges, pledges to support a great cause, a fight the fight against mu muscular dystrophy. Please join us in this task by stopping in. We're down in, in downtown Minneapolis at the Hyatt. We have a big block party going outside. Bring your checkbook, credit card, whatever. Help us in this great cause. Thank you. And we certainly can use your help for Absolutely. those of you at home. I want to point out, uh, many times during the local cut-ins here, you'll see people presenting checks for $1,000, $3,000, $6,000. I'll tell you what, the backbone of this telethon, as you know, Diana, people is the home. $5 contribution, you bet. the $10 contribution. That's really what makes, puts the spin on the ball as far as the telethon down here mm -hmm. goes. So if uh, you're sitting at home and you're watching your kids out in the yard today, perhaps they're out in the backyard, three or four of them having a good time, Send in $5 for each kid. It would be deeply appreciated, and more importantly, it's going to make a very big difference in this fight against MD. Here's some folks who have already called in this morning. Gene Mounter from St. Paul, $1,000. Challenge to all Catholic parents. We thank you very much, Gene. Deborah Johnson from Invergrove called in with a $30 pledge for her sons, Jeremy and Jason, $15 apiece. That's, that's all it takes. Call in for your healthy kids. Help the kids who aren't as healthy as your kids. Give us a call at 340-1111. Lester Hazel and Christina Stiles called in $25 in remembrance of Carl D. Stiles, their father. And uh, then we had a St. Thomas Senior call in, didn't leave their name, $10, a challenge to all College of St. Thomas students to meet that uh, matching pledge. So we encourage you, please. Go to your phones right now. Don't wait till later this afternoon. Give us a call at 340-1111. Do it now. We have something a bit different, too, at this point that we'd like to uh, bring to your attention that might make your uh, phone calling a little bit more fun. Take a look at this right now. It's a caricature done by artist Bob Jorgensen. Up there with the umbrella, you can see Paul Douglas, Mike Igo, of course, in that brilliant gray hair in the middle, Tom Ryder on the end of the wing, and Diane and I, I guess we're piloting that plane I don't know Which if we really, we're in trouble. We're not capable if we're, of doing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> if we're piloting it, look out. But if you'd like to phone in now at 340-1111 and make a pledge, what we'll do is you have to mention the caricature portrait, the MDA 88 portrait. If your pledge is the highest between now and 115, when you specifically ask for the artwork, we will then obviously turn that artwork over to you. And we'll announce your name in the next break. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is call in, make your pledge, whether it's $5, 10 $15, whatever you think it's worth. Mention that you're making your pledge in the running for the picture that we just mm -hmm. showed you. And if you have the highest pledge at one fifteen, when we come back, we'll be more than happy to announce your name on the air and uh, send that right out to you. be quite a good deal. 340-1111. Let's yeah. go over to Mike Igo. The silver haired, haired <laughs> wonder. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize until I saw that caricature by Bob Jorgensen and how gray I'm getting. And perhaps it's because I'm waiting for the phones to ring. <laughs> Actually, we're not doing too badly right now. We got uh, the folks from 7-Eleven in the phone bank sound. They're doing uh, pretty good, so maybe that's a good omen. So with that in mind, to kind of keep that omen going, we have David Miller of the Southland Corporation that owns 7-Eleven. But first, David, uh, you got a good luck charm here. I think before we let you give the check, Amy's here for how many times now, Amy? Four. 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 
Four telethons. Okay, so David, uh, I'll let you bring the good news of what you did and what you got here. Okay, we um, use Grand Old Days as an event in St. Paul. We use it as kind of a kickoff event for MDA collections for the summer. It's a five-mile-long block party, and on our corner, we turn it into an MDA event. Now, hold on here. I'm going to hold this up high, and you can tell me what you got here. We raised $2,000 this year on Grand Old Days. $2,000. Absolutely wonderful. Amy, I'm sorry we don't mean to block you out here. But I do think the thing we should point out, we'll drop this down. We don't want to block poor Amy here. We do want to point out once again, folks, that there are so many, many needs when your dollars support when you call in here. And I'd like to show you another thing right about now that your dollars do help. I think we have a picture of a walking aid here, if we could take a look at that. That's right, there's a walking aid there. Same situation as before. We'd like you to take a look at this and see if you can figure out in your mind uh, how much uh, that costs. We'll get back to that just a little bit later on. But uh, once again, don't think about it. Please call us, 340-1111. 340-1111, we'd love to hear from you. Let's move right along. Thank you, Michael. I'm standing here at the fishbowl with four good-natured, good-hearted people from the Fred Babcock VFW Post 5555 in Richfield. But I understand you're going to be doing the talking. Mark Brown. Hi. Well, thank you very much. On behalf of the uh, Fred Babcock VFW with four fives in Richfield, Minnesota, uh, we'd like to donate at $1 for every one of our member VFW members at our post, and that will come out to $2,724. Thank you very much. And now we move on to Sally Jungers. I think you have a check for us, too, don't you? Yeah. Yes. At our recent uh, a meeting of our uh, officers, we uh, donated $125. Terrific. Thank you very much. And a quick challenge, I understand. Yes. We're going to challenge all the rest of the posts in the state of Minnesota. If, everybody, if every post would donate $1 per member, we could bring in $89,740. Come on, vets. We did our part before. Let's do it again. Absolutely. And thank you all for coming down. $89,000, that would do a lot of good down here. Thanks very much for coming down. And moving over here, we got the men in white. We've got Stereo Daves and uh, Keith in the middle. Is that right? And you are from where? From Minneapolis Taekwondo USA Family Centers in St. Paul Taekwondo Centers, uh, associated with the American Taekwondo Association. Okay, and what did you do for us, and what do you have for us? Well, through the summer, uh, we had some car washes. We had several sparathons, uh, a climbathon up a big flight of stairs, and we also are having a board break this afternoon. And uh, so we did those events all through the summer. Okay, and what do you have for us? Come on over here by the fishbowl, and we'll take a look at what you have. What do you have? Well, I collected two, $378 of the $2,100. Thank you very much, Keith. We appreciate your involvement. We really do. And right about now, we should mention we're at the fishbowl. And uh, bring your kids down. They can get involved in this, too. Get a feeling of, of the pride that, it, that you get when you share yourself with other people. If you come down here, put some money in the fishbowl. You get to pick out a sun, a moon, star, clouds, whatever. Put your name on it. You get a chance to see it on TV. We want to cover up this entire blue board by the time this day is over. And that means everybody's down here giving and, and uh, really showing that they're concerned about their fellow man. We love that. Thank you very much. 340-1111 is the number to call, or you can come on down and visit us in person. Over to you, Paul. Thank you, Joan, very much. You know, just a couple of weeks ago in Roseville at Central Park, they had a volleyball tournament. I have some very special people here to my left to help us tell about that, Deb Richardson and Charles Richardson. I should point out that in that tournament, Channel 11 had a team in the media division. We won thanks to Randy, slam it in your face, and score a point shaver, who's one of the most competitive people on the face of the earth. Now, you folks won the real serious division, I guess we should say, the competitive division. And, Deb, you played in college, right? Right. I played at uh, UAA in Alaska. Uh -huh. now, now, who organized this, Charles? Well, nationally, it was, lo it was organized by All Sports Marketing. Locally, the uh, MDA chapter was the organizer. Uh -huh. Now, how did it work? How did we raise money? Each team had um, to bring in an entry fee of $200. Mm -hmm. And you guys won the darn thing, right? Yes, we did, and we're going to Puerto Rico. Yeah, you're going to the national competition in Puerto Rico, so you'll be representing Minnesota, I guess, in Wisconsin? Mm -hmm. That's right. Great. Good for you guys. Now, are you a setter or a spiker? A hitter. A hitter? What, uh, explain that one to me. It's spiker, hitter. Oh, okay. Uh, spiker sounds neat. <laughs> Charles? And I'm a setter and a back row player. Yeah. That means you're real good at digging the ball and... Theoretically, yeah. right. You also uh, apparently dug up quite a check for us as well. Why don't you tell us about that? Well, yes, we did uh, from the event, uh, and we'd like to present to the MDA a check for $3,000 on behalf of All Sports Marketing. Thank you very much. Thank you both very much. We appreciate it very much. And good luck in Puerto Rico to both of you. Yeah, have a good time. 
All right, right now. Thank you very much again. We appreciate that. And you at home, don't forget that $5 contribution, that dollar contribution, anything you have. 340-1111. Not many of the phones in the back are ringing right now as I look back toward the operators. A lot of them are looking up here watching me. And, you know, if the operators are watching the telethon, we're not exactly doing our business the way we should be doing it. It would be better if those people had phones up to their ears and were busily writing down on their pledge cards a $5 amount, a $10 amount. That truly is the backbone of what this telethon is all about. That's where we really generate most of the funds from. Even though I was just handed a check for $3,000, you may sit at home and think, well, they don't need my $2 or my $1 or my $5, when in fact we do. It's you folks at home that have to get to that phone, make that call, 340-1111, and give us that pledge. You know we appreciate it, and you know it's going to make a difference. We can't emphasize that enough. Right now, let's go to the Alternative Lounge. Christy Arndt is there. Christy. Thanks a lot, Paula. I appreciate it. <laughs> We're having a little bit of a rest here at the Alternative. Um during the off hours, when we're not here, these people have about 33 dancers that have been hitting the dance floor, and they're raising $900 for every hour that they dance here. They, <laughs> they started at 6 o'clock last night, and they're going through until 6 o'clock tonight. But in the meantime, while we're resting here, we have a couple of presentations to make here. Uh, quickly, can you tell me who you are and what you've got? I'm Norman Stevens. I'm uh, Bob Jones, the commander of Falling American Legion Post. And what do you have here? Uh, we have a check to give to uh, Bob and uh, Jerry's kids for $5,000 from the vet. $5,000. Thank you very much. We have another presentation. If we can quickly bring it up from the rear here. Here we go. Uh, tell me your names, please, and what you've got. I'm Bob Gore, and this is my wife, Sylvia. We represent Tri-City Post 513 of the American Legion. And what do we have here? You, we have a check for you for $10,000. <laughs> And with that, I can't think of a better note to hand it back to you folks back at the Hyatt. Christy, thank you very much. Frank is our director. He's outside in a truck right now. Frank, can you give me a wide shot of all the operators, if you can, if we can get a picture of the operators right now? If you're an operator and you're not busy answering a phone, could you please stand up so folks at home can see what I'm talking about, how we have a lot of operators here who are not busy? We have 200 operators, and I would say probably three-quarters of them, actually it's getting larger than that, are not working right now. Go ahead and stay standing while Frank stays on that wide shot. You can see them as you look down the main aisle. Operators to your right and to your left, about 100 on each side. And frankly, those who are busy are right up here in the front row, and you can't see them since we're shooting the picture back. As I mentioned earlier, the phones ring in sequence. If we could make them ring all the way to the back of the room, we would have 100%. You would hear a siren go off. So if you can get your phone right now and dial 340-1111, Put these operators to work. That's why they're here. They don't want to be down here idly twiddling their fingers. They want to answer phones. They want to take your pledge. They'll be more than happy to talk to you. They're very, very pleasant people. And we would appreciate any amount that you can donate. You can also use, which is quite convenient, your Visa, your American Express, or your MasterCard. The same phone numbers work for those, 340-1111, and the phone numbers that you see moving across your screens for the communities outside the metro area. So help us make these operators sit down. Please, let's get them busy. Because later on today, they might be busy and you might not get through. If you can make them sit down, it would just be a wonderful thing. And I'm sure you'd get a big round of applause from, from all of the operators. They're here to help us. And the only way they can help us is by you helping us. And it's you folks at home that make the $5, the $10 pledge, the $2 pledge. That's what makes the difference in this telethon. Christy just had the report from the Alternative Lounge where you saw those rather large checks. Those checks are wonderful, and you know they're deeply appreciated. There we go. Thank you very much at home. That's exactly what we're talking about. When you make all those phones ring, we keep the operators busy, and it's those 2 and $5 pledges that make all the difference in the world. And nobody knows that better than Diana Pierce, who's right over here to my left. Diana? Thanks, Paul. We want to continue to remind you to go to those phones. Keep those phones ringing throughout the entire telethon. This is it. This is the only day that we have left, and we only have a few hours left to make the goals, to keep the programs going, to keep buying the equipment, to, to provide the, the facilities, the, the medication, 
the support groups, all of the things that MDA makes up, it's education, it's support, it's research, all of those things. We need you to continue to go to your phones. We need to have that 100% light light up again, hopefully, while we're even talking, 340-1111. I want to introduce you to a very special family, again, an MDA family. It's the Nelson family. They're from the New Ulm area. To my left is Derek. Derek is eight years old. His older brother is Ryan. Ryan's been talking my ear off during this last break. And then we have Barbara and Ross, mom and dad. And Brian, Ryan, you want to tell me a little bit about the fundraising that you've been doing in the New Ulm area? Well, my, um, my aunts and my uncles had a rum and sale. And How much money did you raise? We raised... Um, $620. Wow, that's great. Now, you also did some more fundraising in addition to that. Yeah. The Cub Scout pack that I'm in donated $50. $50. That's great for a Cub, Cub Scout pack, huh? And there was one other area, right? Um, we went around collecting, too. And how much money did you raise by collecting? Mom's going to remember this one. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. All told, it is $1,117.91. Um, $1, $1, oh, great. A lot of effort on your part. Now, you also went to camp this year, and in addition to that, you now have a new Indian name. Is that correct? Yes. What, what's your new Indian name? Little Eagle Who Flies High. And do you do that? Do you fly high? Maybe more fast than high. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, Ryan, for being with us and the Nelson family for being with us today. It's because of you going to your phones, again, that helps uh, send kids to camp like Ryan. I don't know about giving him his new Indian name, but we certainly appreciate all the efforts that you could, go, you could do right now. 340-1111. We need to have some of these folks that are sitting down busy again. It seems like they've been taking your pledges, but they've, they've hung up the telephone. They're waiting to take that next, next pledge. It's going to get really busy this afternoon. We hope that you take the time now. Now is the time to go to that telephone. Get out your MasterCard, your Visa, your American Express. It's very simple to do. $5, $10, $15. We have some people who already made a pledge. Another uh, young boy, Ryan. This Ryan has cerebral palsy, but his uh, parents, George and Marie Weaver of Minneapolis, donated $10 in, in his name. Stacy Carlson of St. Paul Park, $5 in, member, in memory of Ashley Carlson. And Mr. and Mrs. Michael Parr of Minneapolis, $5 in memory of Graham Woods. We appreciate it if you, too, would go to your telephone, just like these folks have. Give us a pledge right now, 340-1111. We can't do enough. We want to cure it. We want to cure 40 muscular diseases. We're working on that now. We've talked to the doctors. We've seen the families. We've heard from patients who are being helped, some that are, are advancing from uh, who may still be walking, able to walk, but the disease is progressing in their bodies even now as we speak. We want to be able to help the families, the children, the adults, everyone who is affected by a neuromuscular disease. But we can only do it if you go to your telephones and now call 340-1111. Let's go over to Mike Igo. Thank you, Diane. I was uh, appealing a little bit before to some of my friends in the outlying communities. Well, uh, Jack and Bev from St. Cloud took the challenge, hopped on 94, and came down to see us. Uh, it was St. Cloud Karate, so Jack, I'll let you tell me what's what here. Well, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> my, this past summer, we held a uh, kickathon uh, to raise uh, some funds for the MDA. It's the first time we've ever been involved uh, with it, and we, as a result, of this wonderful experience. Um, I think you're going to see us back here again and again. Um, on behalf of all the students and instructors and all their sponsors, I'd like to present you with a check for $1,100. $1,100, first time out. Thank you, Jack. To have a quick uh, message for the folks up in St. Cloud. Tell them the call. Okay, everybody up there, we all need your support down here, so get on those phones, dial those numbers on your TV screen, and s pledge your money. We need it right now. Thank you. If you folks stay put here, we're going to encourage you something else. We're going to show you exactly what your dollars will do. I think we're going to have a picture there. No, we're not going to have a picture, are we? We're going to go out to my friend, the queen of weekend television. 
Miss Joan Steffen. The queen of weekend television. Wow, thank you very much, Mike. I am here with Hi Siegel of the Jewish War Vets. But before we get to the check presentation, I want to ask you, you've been working down in the mailroom, and you say you've noticed a difference down there. Yes, we've noticed a great difference down there. Now, last year, we were all busy all the time. This year, we're all sitting around. So get those uh, pledges in. We need it real well. I don't understand. It's kind of a sad feeling down there, though, isn't it? Is. It? it really is. Yeah. Got to get in there, and you got to help. Call 340-1111. Okay, now to the money. What do you have for us? We have a check here for the Jerry Lewis's kids from the Jewish War Veterans, post 354. I hope that uh, we get more next year, but things are a little rough this year. Okay, well, we appreciate everything. Thank you very much. $100 from the Jewish War Vets. Thanks for stopping by. Now we've got an impatient crowd down here from uh, the Children's Learning Center in Plymouth and the Miss Light. Miss Lyak Daycare in Brooklyn Park. I'm sorry, I thought I had that down. And these kids have been doing a hopathon. I would like to talk to this guy down here. His name is Sam. Is that right? What's your last name? He doesn't have a last name. How old are you, Sam? Four. Four years old? And what did you do to raise money for muscular dystrophy? Hopping. Can we get a little sample of that? Do you feel like, you feel like hopping right now? No. no, I don't feel like hopping right now either because nobody's calling in. Maybe if you guys call in, he'll start hopping, huh? And uh, what did you win for hopping? A bunny and T-shirt. A bunny and a T-shirt. See, these kids are working hard for bunnies, T-shirts, and for other kids who, who can't hop, right? Over here from the Miss Lyak Daycare Center in Brooklyn Park, we have who? What's your name? Nicole. Nicole, and what's your last name? Oh. And you are how old? Five. And what did you do to raise money for muscular dystrophy? I hopped. Now, how long did you have to hop? I don't know. Was it like hours and hours? No, but you raised a lot of money, and we appreciate that. Thank you very much for stopping by here. And now that I'm way down here, I'm going to throw it to dial, get up off my knees. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. I'm in the celebrity phone bank right now. We have lots of people up here who are taking telephone calls. Why don't you give us your name? Dean Strand from KMOJ Radio. And you want some of your listeners to do what? I want you to call, and the number is 340-1111. And do it right now. He needs the business. He wants to talk to you. We also have a friend here. Chris O'Connor. Yeah, I know. It's Chris <laughs> O'Connor. Where have you been? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> so what's this mean? Uh, if it's September, where am I working now? Well, <laughs> Why, why don't you tell us? Well, I, I'm doing the morning show now, uh, Diana, at uh, KSTP AM 1500. Mm -hmm. From 5 till 9, Monday through Friday, and I miss all you good folks at Channel 11. I miss you oh. and I miss Paul. That's because you always took things out of my desk yeah. when you were there. <laughs> yeah, I made personal phone calls on your, <laughs> on your, on your machine. Yeah, so. I always wonder where my pants went, and you took them. Thank you. Well, Chris, you want us to have some of your listeners call us now at? The Wait, phone number? Yes, that's it. 340 oh. 1111. Right. I knew that, Paul. <laughs> yes, please call right now. Like all the listeners from KSTP and, of course, all the viewers at uh, KARE to call in right now. Where's KSTP on the dot? 1500 AM. Oh, okay. I'm going to toss it over to Scott Cove. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at some of the other celebrities we have here. We've got Alex Keaton from KDWB Radio. Alex, I know you're on the phone, but who are you talking to? I'm talking to Anne Hagen. And where's she from? She's in Lakeville. She's in Lakeville, and she's going to make a pledge here. $5 pledge. Thank you very much. We need all those $5 pledges we can get. You want to make a quick pitch to your listeners, Alex? Sure, yeah. Please, listen. <laughs> I need the money. <laughs> I need the uh, how about for the telethon? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, please call in. We, we need lots more money, uh, as, you, as you know, too. We, we need the wow. phones to ring. We've got a lot of people in the back. Please call up right now. Thanks, Alex. Let's go over to the Minneapolis and St. Paul Postal... <laughs> Postmasters, excuse me, Postmasters Bill. We'll start over here with Minneapolis. Bill Brown's on the phone right now. Bill, could you talk to your uh, folks out there and ask them to call in? Yes, I'd like to encourage all postal employees throughout the state to call in and, and make their pledge to the MDA. Do you have any way of checking up on them to make sure they have made that pledge? I have full confidence that they'll make that pledge. <laughs> Thanks very much. Bill Birch is over here, St. Paul Postmaster. Bill, could you make a comment to your folks, please? We'd like everyone to call in. Right now I've got Mrs. Tom Willison on the phone, and uh, she's made a nice pledge in honor of her father, uh, E.F. Waldron. So all the postal employees out there, please give us a call. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. As you can see, they're busy up here, so why don't we go back to Paul? Can I borrow your mic, Di? Let's check this mic. This mic works. We've been having this problem with this mic. Maybe that's what's been wrong with the telethon so far. I think it is Diana's here with me right now. We'll just you set this one. Use my mic yeah, we'll just set this work. one down right here. Look at how quiet. I mean, I Frank, again, can we have a shot of the operators? It's quiet in here. The phones are not ringing. It's quiet. The number is 340-1111 in the metro area. Please, operators, if you have nothing to do, could you just go ahead and maybe exercise your knees and your legs by standing if you're not answering your phones? It helps us out. That way the folks at home can see exactly what we're talking about. That's a lot of people. Oh, and by the way, when you're, you're pledging this morning, don't hesitate to make a second pledge. Roseanne of St. Paul called in a second time an amount of $20 for her two healthy children, Maggie and Ann. And we appreciate, Roseanne, for you calling yet another time, 340-1111. There's a lot of people standing out there this afternoon. They'd like to hear from you. They'd like to take your pledge right now. They are helping to, in their fight against MDA by being down here answering the telephones. Now we'd like you to do your part, going to the telephone. Give us a call, 340-1111. If you're an operator that's not answering the phone, go ahead and wave your hand so folks at home can get a better idea of what we're talking about. All those people waving their hands are not answering phones when, in fact, that's why they're here, is to take your $5 pledge, your $2 pledge, your $10 pledge. Please put these people to work. That's what they want to do. 340-1111. We need your help. It's the $5 contribution, the $3 contribution, the $2 contribution, the $10 contribution that makes the difference as far as the telethon goes. It's uh, The corporate checks are nice, the MDA-sponsored events are nice, all the fundraisers are pleasant. But it's you folks at home who simply have to reach over, grab that phone, and dial 340-1111 and make that pledge. You know what else we should talk about? Oh, the picture. Again, yes, you still have time to call in with a picture, to pledge on that picture right now. Again, uh, the person calling in with the highest bid. You see it on your screen right now. It's, it's a lovely picture of the five of us, isn't it? <laughs> Paul Douglas, Mike Igo up there, Tom Ryder, myself and Diana, and it's a caricature by Bob Jorgensen. If, if your pledge is the highest pledge between now and 115, you will win that darn thing. And uh, if you'd like it, signed or whatever. I'm sure Bob already signed it. I imagine we could sign the back. That as well. And we really appreciate the effort that Bob took to, to do this. Again, it's somebody else's effort to help raise money for muscular dystrophy. And what we'd like you to do is, if you're interested in it, we'd really appreciate the fact if you call in now, the highest pledge, and if you mention the picture uh, that, that your money is going towards that or that you want to bid on that picture, uh, we'll announce your name during our next break. That would be, I guess, at 115. And uh, we'd like to find out just exactly who that might be. 340-1111. You can see on your screen a shot that we just left. If we can go back to that picture, Frank, can you punch that up one more time? Operators in the back, could you go ahead and wave your arms so folks at home? Some people may have small television sets at home. Those are the operators we have left standing. If you could make that phone ring right now and we could maybe get those people to sit down, then we might feel like we've accomplished something here in the last four or five minutes. We have 200 phones that ring in a sequential order. And the operators that you see standing there in the back, like the fellow in the striped sweater, those are the people we need to sit down. We do that, we reach 100%, and that's when we get to have the siren go off, which is always an exciting moment down here. Well, it is because, it's again, it's 100% participation. It tells us that you are caring. You are going to your telephones. You're giving of your pledges. Like some of the folks who have already called in this morning, uh, Leonard Goldman, $25 in memory of Helma Goldman. Carol Musgrove, in memory of her parents, Henry and Charlotte Halverson. Uh, Mr. Gray Tackenini or Tashney of Maplewood, $20 in memory of Joe Diltz. Uh, it's a family situation down here today. Muscular dystrophy encompasses, it's a, it's a family umbrella. They wrap their arms around the families who have someone that has a muscular disease of some sort. And what they're doing is they're helping make their lives a little bit better. But they can only do it through your help, by you going to your phones right now. MasterCard, Visa, American Express, we are certainly taking those uh, numbers as well. Please give us a call, 340-1111. You can see a few people standing in the back right now uh, to the left of your screen that you're looking at at home. That's all that we have left. We just have to ring about, probably about uh, 15 or 20 more phones. 340-1111, if we could do that. Then we get to have that darn siren go off, and we just haven't heard that enough today. No, we 
we haven't. We're always excited to hear that. You know, we haven't heard it go off as many times this year. And we really need your help. We're now seeing the last rows go down. Again, it's the $5, it's the $10, it's $15. It all adds up to a cure. That's what we are working for. A cure we are working towards. There we go. That's what we like to hear. We thank you for your participation, 340-1111. It's through that type of help that maybe we can find a cure. So now what that means, since that's gone on back there, the operators up front here have put their phones back on their hooks. The operators in front are waiting to take your call now. Hopefully, we're going to go outside to Tom Ryder. While we do that, hopefully we can go right back through the sequence once again and maybe make this thing ring as we come back in from Tom Ryder, who is out on the Nicollet Mall right now. Let's take odds on you think he's having a bite to eat. Oh, and if he isn't eating now, he has before or after, I'm sure. These are things to do. It's, it's kind of like... It's kind of like a mini taste of Minnesota. We have bands playing a couple of stages. And at the moment, we'll, uh, we'll catch some dancing here by some very talented young ladies. You can always count on the firefighters of the Twin Cities, both Minneapolis and St. Paul. I want you to meet right now Hank Lemire, the chairman of the MDA committee of the St. Paul Firefighters. you got some money for us. I sure do, Tom. Thank you. And that, uh, as in past years in St. Paul, we had the canisters out on our tables where we give uh, blood pressures. And thanks to the generosity of the people that come to visit our stations, and on behalf of the MDA committee, I'd like to present you with a check for $1,000. Thank you very much. We'll take it. Thank you. Well, now we have Pat Smith, the treasurer. More money coming from the St. Paul Firefighters. On behalf of the uh, St. Paul Firefighters Local 21 Benefit Association, Tom, we'd like to present an additional $1,000 check. We'd also like to commend Channel 11 and all the volunteers that you've got today for all the hard work that you're doing for uh, such a worthy cause. We thank the firefighters in St. Paul. Thank you very much. All right, all kinds of entertainment. Now let's start the entertainment on our stage right outside the Hyatt Regency. We have some young ladies from the uh, Summit School of Dance in Plymouth. And as on this stage, we have basically entertainment and exhibits. And on the other stage, at the other end of the mall area where we're having our block party, we have some good old-fashioned rock and roll music being played. So you can come and dance, you can eat. There are games, there are rides. We have some uh, scuba diving a visit with some actual divers in the tank. And right now, you're watching the young ladies do their stuff. Come on down. Paul, let's go back inside to you. Thank you very much. Uh, there, ooh, that was loud. I wanted to say thank you to Tom, who's outside. He'll be out there all day. Come down and say hello to him. Stop by, throw some money in the fishbowl. If you're not going to come downtown, just pick up the phone. It's that simple, 340-1111. It's you that make the difference with a $5 or $3 pledge. That is truly the backbone of the Labor Day Telethon with Jerry Lewis. Mike Igo is out there wandering around amongst the operators, keeping an eye on who's busy and who's not. Michael, how's it going out there? Uh, we're kind of in a little lull again, Paul, so maybe this is the opportunity to pump things up again. Uh, lady looking awful lonely here. What's the problem? Well, I'm just waiting for my phone to ring. Yeah, she's waiting for your phone to ring for your pledge, not for a date or anything, so let's not get any wrong ideas here. Three, four, zero, eleven, eleven. You know, one thing that struck me uh, before is that uh, Jack and Bev, who I interviewed before, came down from St. Cloud, and they were first-timers. Well, how about you? Maybe this is your opportunity to be a first-timer. So this is my official invitation for you to join our first-timer club. Uh, there we go. First-timers. Thank you. Three four zero eleven eleven. Now let's have the answer to our quiz. Earlier we showed you a piece of equipment, and let's check it out. That's a walking aid. How much do you think that costs? This is a good example of what your dollars would do. And there you see it up in your screen, a walking aid. That's exactly the price of what it is. Six dollars to twenty dollars, exactly. And you know the point of that picture. What we'd like to mention is that it is the small amounts of money that do make a decided difference. What you do, you know, you hear the large amounts. You see things like the wheelchairs and other pieces of equipment. But you saw up there a very clear indication. Just $6 will help someone with a walking aid. Do you have $6? Do you have $5? You can make a big difference with your contribution alone. 340-1111. We thank you. And again, my invitation to all you first-timers to please call in. Let's go up to the podium. All right, Michael, thank you very much. Standing to my left is Diana Pierce with some very special guests. You bet. We have some folks from U.S. West Direct. I have... Pat Brushard. Okay, and Pam Lund. Now, you had a very special walkathon earlier this year. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, we had 27 uh, employees and their family and friends, and they gathered pledges and raised $8,500 for Jerry's kids. Thank you very much, and here is the check. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Every little bit helps. And step by step, we're going to get there. 
One last time, if we can, we'd like to mention, if we can get Harvey turned around, Frank, to get a picture of our caricature over there. Right. If you make a pledge, well, let's just walk over here. That might be the best way to do it. Excuse me, well, ladies. Well, we'll see you later. Jump rope here. <laughs> just to show you the size of this thing, it's almost like one of the, uh, one of the classics hanging in the Louvre. Okay, maybe not. It's, you know, it's a little bit smaller, but it's a nice picture nonetheless. Tom Ryder, Mike Igo, or Tom Ryder over here, Paul Douglas there, myself and Diana. When you make your pledge right now, mention that you're trying to win the picture. If your pledge is the largest pledge from now until 1.15 and you mention the picture, which you must do, you can go ahead and get this thing, and we'll be happy to turn it over to you. So uh, not only do you make a pledge that's going to a worthy cause, you also get something extra in return. So that's a pretty darn good deal. And uh, as I said earlier, any amount will help, $2, $5. If you have healthy kids, if you're by yourself and you feel blessed, mm -hmm. just give us a call. You can help a lot of good people. We've already had some people, again, calling in with their pledge amounts this morning. From Stillwater, the Winky family, $25 for her children, Thomas Howe, Cottage Grove, $25 in memory of daughters Christina and Teresa. Uh, Lorraine Severson, $15 for Buffy, Laura, and Jessica. So those people have already been calling in this morning. What's stopping you? We hope nothing. Please go to the phone, 340-1111. Well, something's stopping people. It's, a, it's Truly, it's a bit depressing to look back towards these cameras that we look at. We have two cameras out here in front of us. And every time I look out at a camera, all I see are faces of operators. Sitting down. Sitting down and staring back up here at me <laughs> because they're not busy writing down pledges and answering phones. You know that we appreciate anything that you can do. Not only do we appreciate it, but the clients of MDA obviously appreciated even more than us. You saw the example that Mike Igo just illustrated with the graphic that was on your television set. A six dollar pledge can buy somebody a cane, enabling somebody a bit more independence they might not have. Mm -hmm. So any small amount of money helps. That's truly what makes this thing work. And the way it works is with you folks at home dialing 340-1111 in the Twin Cities area or those numbers outside the Twin Cities area that you see on the screen right now. Mm -hmm. We need your help. Without you, we can't do it. So we appreciate any participation that you can give us. Last night we had a young man on the air who a year and a half ago had no idea that he might be diagnosed with a muscular disease. He's 30 years old. It can happen at any time. Uh, we see a lot of children on the air. Some of them are diagnosed at birth or somewhat thereafter, but also it, can, it could possibly happen to at a later time. We saw that Dennis Day was diagnosed with ALS at a much later point in his life. If not doing it for you and your family, do it for your neighbor and your neighbor's family. 340-1111. Go to your phones right now and give us a call. We need your help. We can't do it without you folks at home. Uh, we're sort of the manager of the team. <laughs> you folks are yeah. the players. And yeah. as we all know, it's the players that put the points on the board. And so uh, go ahead and hit a home run for MDA. Pick up the phone and dial 340-1111. Certainly use your help, and you know that we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. What do you think? Should we get a new code, everybody? I think everybody? we should go and see what our All the operators who are not is. answering phones, can we have a drum roll? Yeah. Which will be deafening because a lot of them aren't working. Because there's a lot of people not, not having somebody on the comes. telephone. Yeah. Okay. Good jump. $230,000, 302. We really Great. appreciate it. We appreciate that very much. Now then, while we're gone, don't forget... We will be here. We will be here. The we'll operators want to answer calls. your calls while we're gone because it does quiet down substantially mm -hmm. whenever we cut away to the National Telethon, mm -hmm. which we're going to do right now. We appreciate it, folks. Thank you very much. We lost Jim Grigsby, but there are thousands of people out there fighting a desperate battle against the disease that took his life. In its all-out battle against ALS, the Muscular Dystrophy Association has established five major research centers in Boston, Houston, Los Angeles, Madison, Wisconsin, and at Columbia University in New York. We're going to win the battle against this deadly disease, I promise. And now I would like you to meet that courageous woman you just saw, Sonny Grigsby, ladies and gentlemen, right here. There have been a lot of people that asked me, why do you do this? Why do you keep going back? 
I can't forget how he died. I can't forget the fact that he left four beautiful children, sons that were not grown, and that yesterday was his birthday. We need your help. We need you to phone in your pledges. Jimmy thought that Jerry Lewis was the light at the end of a tunnel. And he wouldn't want it the help for himself so much. I do. I don't want anybody else to go through this. I don't ever want another child to not be able to walk. Or a child that, as my children did, would wake up in the morning in terror that maybe their father had died that night. We need your help. We need you to go to the phones and call the numbers and make a pledge to help Jerry make a miracle for his kids. Thank you. Jerry, I want to interrupt you right now. Okay. A delicate moment, but we have some good news on our pledge board, so if we can have a timpani roll, I'll show it to you. Please do. Here it is. Yeah. Grigsby always touches my heart, and I guess that's because I identify, and I love the firefighters so much, and I always have. Since I was a little kid, I guess I wanted to be a fireman or a cop. Welcome back to the MDA Telethon. We're located here at the Hyatt Regency Hotel, downtown Minneapolis. Have you nice job? Have you ever seen have you ever seen such euphoria from one That's person? That's right. <laughs> have you ever seen anybody quite that excited in your whole life? Nancy? Nancy, can you hear me? Has your phone been ringing, Nancy? No. No. That's Not enough. That's why Nancy's not smiling as yeah. much as she wants to smile. 340-1111. There's Nancy right there. You caught the edge of her right there. Help make these phones ring. In fact, let's just take a wide shot real quick. Mm -hmm. Can we, Frank, if you can hear that? Maybe we can get a wide shot of some of the operators. If you're not doing anything, operators, go ahead and raise your hand and wave your hand so folks That's at home. That's pretty much all of our operators right now. Yeah, just about 75% of the room. We need your help. It's the small pledges that make the difference. Two dollars, five dollars, three dollars. That's Here's the some backbone. That were just called of in the during, our, during our break. Melissa Growth, six dollars, dedicated to the memory of Cell Growth. 
Jamie Harmon, $5 in memory of her granddad. Donna and Gerald Austin of Hastings, $100 in honor of their grandchildren, Kelsey and Kayleen and Donald Hanson, Brooklyn Park. $2,500 in memory of Stephen Hansen. We appreciate you going to your telephones and calling us at 340-1111. It's pledges like this that's going to help us find a cure. Help keep the operators busy. Hopefully they'll be busy while Mike Igo takes over right now. Michael? Well, i got to tell you, here's a real good example right here of uh, so many people who've pulled together to really make this telethon work. I have with me here, i got Lonnie, i got Leslie, and i got Darren. Now, here's a good example of contribution and caring. These folks have been in our mailroom since 6 o'clock last night. Now, if that's not enough, uh, consider the fatigue factor. They've also got together and they've done another little thing. How about it, Lonnie? What you got? $172. $172. Now, these are folks who have, that's right, applaud. Yes, yes, you may. These folks, these folks have already given up their time, their money, and their effort, and then besides that, they've pulled together and got $172 on their own. So doesn't that make you at home maybe feel just a little bit guilty? Now, we're not trying to work on the guilt factor too much, but just enough that maybe you'll say, boy, maybe I can give $5, maybe I can give $10. And right about now, I'd like to show you once again what your dollars can do. Let's take a look at another piece of equipment if we could. I think we're going to have a piece of equipment there. No, I guess we're not going to have a piece of equipment, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. But again, I think the point I want to stress and emphasize, we cannot emphasize enough, there are so many different things that can, here we go, what do we have here? There's a piece of tape. I'm going to roam right over here and take a look here. Just stay put, Mr. Cameraman. Okay, we have a number of different aids here. How much do you think those are worth? How much do you think those are worth? I'll give you a clue. It's not a great deal of money, but once again, we're a small amount of money can make a big difference. So 340-1111, folks, we need your help. These people have cared. They've given up their time. If you didn't have time to give, that's okay. All we ask is a few dollars. If you're a little strapped because of the holiday season, the vacation, been a good summer, you'll take your Visa. We'll take your MasterCard. We'll take your American Express. We'll take anything. But first of all, we need your call. 340-1111. Thank you. And thank you, Michael. I'm here with Sam Sloan of the Jewish War Vets, post 162 out of St. Paul, and you have something for us. Yes, I have. uh, (coughs) Joan... In the past years, we've been contributing to the Muscat Dystrophy Association liberally between the Minneapolis and St. Paul posts. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have an additional check to present to you this time. Let's hope that this is the last check and we'll have it licked by next year. Yeah. If not, we're going to continue doing it as we have in the past. And I'd like to present you this check for $250. Thank you very much, well, Mr. Sloan. I also have a personal check I almost forgot to give you uh, on behalf of my grandchildren for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. I'll present that to you, too. What a great idea. All you grandparents out there, take a lesson from Mr. Sloan here. Call in and, and pledge uh, in honor of your grandchildren, your healthy grandchildren. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We've got a very healthy little hopper down here named Mary Lay. Is that right? And you are how old? Five. Five. And how did you earn all this money? Thank you very much. You were the top hopper at the Sunshine Prairie Child Care, and you are who? Patty Prisabella. Okay. Annette Johnson. And you are from Daybreak, Daybreak Montessori in Redwood Falls. Daybreak Montessori, and your name is? Deb Overholzer. Okay. And you have a check for us, and Mary has a check for us. How about yours first? For $50. My top hopper couldn't be here, but he says he'll do it again next year. Terrific. $50 all from hopping. And your check is for how much, Mary? $788.65. Thank you very much. You can do the same. Give us a call at 340-1111, and you and Mary Lake can contribute to the end of muscular dystrophy. Now to Paul. Thank you, Joan, very much. I'm here by the Celebrity Phone Bank right now. And and just to show you that Chris O'Connor of KSTP AM on at 5 in the morning till 9 in the morning is a fast student. Chris, what is the phone number? Phone number, uh, Paul, is 340-1111. Hey, brilliant. <laughs> Who are you on the phone with right now? Uh, Melvin Nicholson. Melvin, thank you very much. Oh, if Melva. you're Melva Nicholson. Melva. No, Melva. I'm a slow student, too. Melva, if you're uh, watching right now, thanks for calling in. Also right here, we have Rod Grams from KMSP Channel 9. Rod, how are you? Very good, Paul. Thanks very much. You know, we always have all the bad news to give, but today we're getting a lot of good news, and the good news is the money up on the tote board. So we're here to answer all the calls, so I hope they call in and give us a pledge. Have you been fairly busy up here? So far, I haven't had too much time to talk to Chris, so that's great. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You're in a perfect spot then. Thank you both very much. I'll tell you what, any kind of pledge is going to help us, $5, $3, 
It's focused pledges like that that are the backbone of the telethon. We need your help. I have a lot of operators that are sitting right here staring at me right now, which means they're not busy answering phones. In the metro area, 340-1111. We just reached the back. That's nice. Now what we'll do, again, for those of you at home who may not understand what's taking place, that means we've gone through the entire sequence of 200 phones. So now we will start back up here at the front once again with the operators up here. They will start answering calls. Hopefully we'll work our way back and make that siren go off again before we go away. Right now, Diana has a very special guest with her. Let's go to Diana if we can. She is over in the interview area. Please make those phones ring for us, 340-1111. Diana? Thank you, Paul. I have a very special guest with me, Leonard Prescott from Little Six Bingo. Tell us a little bit about what's been going on. Well, Diane, I have a, a personal experience with, with disease. I lost a son a few years ago, so I realize, you know, what it means to hope for a cure. And so we've been involved with, uh, with the telethon for the last six years. Mm -hmm. um, and we've contributed through, the, uh, through the, the reservations businesses at Little Six Bingo Palace and the Little Six Bingo Casino um, for Jerry's kids for that period of time. Uh, the promotional staff and our customers worked very hard this year to bring a contribution and we have a check for you today of $12,450. Oh, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We, uh, we expect to come in with over $15,000 at the end of uh, today. And there's still things going on right now. Yes, and I'd like to also say that the, the prizes were contributed uh, by the palace itself, for, and then, which is over $5,000, which is $20,000 in overall effort by our customers and our staff. And we'd like to thank them very much. Okay, thank you very much, Little Six Bingo. Now let's go out to Tom Ryder. Thank you, Diana. I'm right here at 13th and Nicollet, uh, just oh, a couple of feet up from the, the Hyatt Regency. We really have a great block party going on. In a moment, uh, cameraman Dean Weiser, who's way up right now on a crane operated by the Minneapolis Fire Department, will swing around and we'll show you what's going on in this three-block block party. We want you to look now live into a diving tank. This is a live fish tank where people are coming in and putting in money, and it's being operated by the Scuba Center out of Minneapolis. Let's see if we can talk to the diver, Tom Devney, who's in there now. Tom Devney, this is Tom Ryder outside. Can you hear me in there? Yes, I can. How are you doing, Tom? Well, I'm doing fine. The question is, how are you doing, and how long have you been in there? I'm not sure. My timekeeper is outside, but I'm doing really well in here. How, how much money are we getting? How much money are we getting? Uh, they're keeping track for me outside. I've been handing out bags for them to call and send back in. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Diver Tom Devney, who's inside the live fishbowl. Now, if we can, can we get Dean Weiser, our cameraman, to swing around in that bucket being operated by the Minneapolis Fire Department? Dean is up there. I'd say he's up about 50 feet. And we're operating three blocks of block party. We have food stands. It's a mini taste of Minnesota. And we have games. We have all kinds of activities going on. Uh, later on, I understand that the new coach, of the Timberwolves, Bob, Bill Musselman may be here, along with General Manager Bob Stein. The Timberwolves have a display. We have a young lady who has a, a shoe shine parlor. She's in the shoe shine business. She looks like Grace Kelly, lovely, lovely lady, and uh, she's giving uh, uh, shoe shines. And the money, of course, goes to the cause. So the name of the game. Why are we having the block party? Come on down, have some fun, bring your money, bring your checkbooks. Come on down. We need you to come down. A beautiful day for it. No excuses. Please come down. I want to see you here. Let's go back inside now. Okay, thank you very much, Tom. Uh, we're a little leery of leaving you unattended with all that food out there, but muscular dystrophy, we know you'll restrain yourself. Anyway, speaking of restraint, uh, we have a corporation, Southland Corporation, has shown no restraint in their efforts uh, to help us out. we got Ray and Rick here. Uh, tell us a little about what you folks did. Uh, I'm a store manager. I work at uh, 2618 Lowry Avenue North. Uh, we're here to uh, present a check for a portion of the uh, newspapers that we collect at the stores. Hold that thought right there. I'm going to let you grab the other side of this and hold it up. And what do we got here? We have $10,000 for muscular dystrophy from our newspaper bins. $10,000. Absolutely fantastic. That's worth seeing it. Thank you very much. I'll shake your hand there. I'll say thank you. I'll say thank you. And I'm going to turn around and hopefully get some more money. And you are? Paula Starley. Paula, I know you're by yourself. What's the group you represent again? Minnesota DECA, the Distributive Education Clubs of America. And what have you done to help us out, Paula? Well, our various um, chapter organizations from throughout the state have combined their efforts through um, fundraisers and other activities to make money for muscular dystrophy. And what is the bottom line here? Well, we brought to you today $10,606 for your organization to help muscular dystrophy. Oh, boy. 
I'm looking at 10 grand on either side here. I don't know if I can handle this pressure. So I'll leave it at that, and I'll say 340-1111. 340-1111. We'd love to hear from you, any amount of money. Let's move up to the podium. Thank you, Michael, very much. We want to remind you that there's an easy way to make a pledge, and that's with your Visa card, your MasterCard, or your American Express. All you have to do is dial 340-1111, or if you're outside the metro area, the numbers that you see moving across the bottom of your screen, it's a very easy way to make a pledge. It's very convenient, and the operators are more than willing to assist you to do that. Or if you just want to call up and make a cash pledge, go ahead and do it. I'm going to step around here right now very quickly. Maybe before we finish this cut-in, we can uh, get all of these operators busy once again back here to the end. You can see that they have... Dennis, can you get a shot of the phones here? This is what I mean when they take the phone off their hook. It's because if they didn't take the phone off the hook, these would be the only people answering phones since they're in the front of the sequence. And the people all the way in the back back here would not have anything to do. So if you can make these phones ring back here, I think the sequence is ended right here. They're not doing anything over here to my right. This is about where we're stopped. And we have all the rest of this space back here with all these good people, the mail carriers. By the way, my mail comes on time every day thanks to Vicki, who is my mail carrier. She does a great job. If we get these phones to ring all the way back here, we'd get our siren to go off again, and that would be the second time since we've been on the air for the last 15 minutes, but we need your help. Why don't you folks stand up if you're not doing anything? I, I know that's a lot to ask of you guys because you're always on your feet. Can you stand up if, you don't, if your phone's not ringing? We'll find out where we are. And hopefully, if you dial 340-1111, these people will get to sit down. We're almost, well, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, five rows on each side to go. Probably ten people to a row. You can count that up yourself. We're moving right along. We need your help to make this thing happen. Well, I want to hear the siren go off twice. You hear that siren go off twice, we get a huge cheer out of everybody in the room here. And it's not like you want to just come down here and not do anything, right? Right. You'd prefer to be busy. Right. Has your phone been busy? A little bit. A little bit, but you'd like to be a lot more busy. That's right. What's the number? 340-1111. Perfect. Make her phone ring so she can sit down. Thank you very much. We appreciate anything you can do for us. If you can get those last few rows to sit down, it would certainly be wonderful. Don't sit until your phone rings, though. That's the key. 340-1111. Please get these operators busy. We need your help. It's been sort of quiet in here all day. It's been a real strange feeling. Uh, you heard the gentleman from the mailroom earlier mention that it's been very quiet compared to past years. We need to make those phones ring. We have a few more operators, that's all. That would certainly be nice. Any kind of a pledge. Any kind of a pledge. Thank you very much.